Now is the time, Portal Master. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Mike with Skylander Nuts. I am back today to continue my walkthrough of Skylander's Giants. Now last time we had the super long level of the Oracle, which we had to play four times. I guess the level itself wasn't that long, but playing through it four times did take forever. Today we have another very interesting and unique level in Skylander's Giants. Today, chapter 14 is called Auto Gyro Adventure. Now the Auto Gyro is like the flying helicopter-like machine that um, I think was gifted to us at the end of the last level by the Oracle. So that's going to help us navigate this level. But this is the first flying level, I think, in Skylanders. So it's quite different than the other levels we've ever played. Um, today, we're going to make sure we try to land on all these different platforms. A lot of them are optional and easy to miss. But if we just make sure we hit all of them, then we should be able to find all the collectibles in this level. So today I'm going to start with Fright Rider. I'm going to get him on the portal because one of the first places we land is an undead gate. So hopefully I can get him to that uh, place because he's a little bit weak. He's only level 7. I've been trying to use him, but he's just not leveling up very quick. So let's talk to Flynn and get this level started. So here's the plan. We're going to fly in style in that sweet copter and Ermit is going to follow us in the ship. You ready for this? Whoa! Yeah! I am so pumped to fly that copter! I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be awesome at it, too. You have done well, Portal Master. But Chaos is on the verge of awakening an ancient power that was never meant to be found. Behold! At last! The Iron Fist of Arcus! And it's all mine! Now, finally, I, Chaos, will be the supreme ruler of all Skylands! <laughs> What's wrong with this thing? Do oh, you stupid robot hand! Give me my power! flying this thing. You know, if we don't find this Arcus place, maybe we could just cruise around for a while. Do I need to remind you that we're on a very important mission? Aha! Ahoy! Well, there it is. Just like that strange oracle fella said it would be, right? Wow! This place is enormous! And it's huge! Hang on, we're going in! Callie, this could be it. The Skylander and I are going right into the heart of the lost city of Arcus. I guess what I'm saying is, if I don't come back. Uh, Flynn, I'm following you in the ship. Remember? Attention, Archean robot minions. It is I, your new leader, Emperor Chaos. Rise! Yes, rise! And bear witness to the dawn of my glorious reign! Okay, that's not good. Better hurry. It's only a matter of time before the Archeans realize you aren't one of them and their defenses kick in. Rightio. Well, this won't be a problem for the greatest pilot in all of Skylands. <gasps> but... Don't say it. Just hurry. I'll meet you on the other side. All right, so this level is all about flying and a little bit of exploring once you land on these like platforms. Uh, this platform, though, is where we just take off from. Uh, I guess Flynn's... I think Flynn will come with us, but we're going to get in the little gyrocopter. Now, 
we maneuver around with the left stick, but look at that. Press up to invert up and down controls. So I like to play inverted. The boys like to fly non-inverted. So this gives you a nice easy way to do that with just a touch of the D-pad. No going into option menus right, so and stuff like that. So let's uh, see what, to yeah, see it's, okay, I will invert the controls. No, I can fly better. Alright, so we're just avoiding these things for now. I'm gonna collect these coins for some bonus. Yeah, Flynn kind of tries to help us by telling us what to do. He's right. We're going to have a lot of these doors to go through. This one is the simplest. We just blow up these sides and we unlock the little clasps. Yep. Alright, now we got to worry about landing in a new spot. So... Now here, well, I guess we don't quite have to worry about it yet. After we get in this one, is our new spot. All right, I just got tagged, but we what we got to do is hit this guy and avoid his attack. So he'll go back and forth. It's not too hard to just pound him like that and get out of the way. Because I've already taken damage. Because I'm pretty careless. The boys maybe a little more careless, but. I'm also careless. That is one smooth landing. <laughs> All right. Okay. See if you can open the big gate, and uh, I'll guard the copter. So this is just very simple. <laughs> Put the key into this little thing, and it opens the gate. All right. Let's fly. Now we can't go into this landing zone see the door is shut it won't open but the next one should be an optional landing zone and we'll get in that one and there's Flynn guarding our ship I knew he was in our ship Here we go again. there it is straight ahead up on the right we're gonna go straight there you see the arrow just fly over the arrow well okay we're not fly over the arrow if you miss it like that just crash just crash I don't know why that didn't land see this time it landed so fly over the arrow, but don't fly too high over the arrow, apparently. And you should automatically land on the platform. And this is an undead zone. This is why I brought Bright Riders start. Let's ride in. And we can talk. Greetings, guest of Arcus. I should warn you that those who enter this undead location never come out. All but one legendary explorer, that is. He lost his famous hat inside but did not return to retrieve it. All right, so there's his hat, but there's also a treasure chest in this area, so we're gonna have to find that. And these, uh, I don't know what those are called, but they're like, Poison chompies or something there. Vicious looking. I think they do a bit of damage too, but they're still easy to kill. Alright, so now we want to move these blocks out of the way so we can make our way over to that hat. Notice though that this block can be pushed more. Let's push it off. Anytime you push a block off, you know that's going to lead to something. So let's fall off and go in this little cave. Here's the hidden crypt with our treasure chest. Yeah, Fry Rider's actually making some money, even though he's not getting much experience. A fine hole. Okay, so far so good. Now we gotta make our way back up these little jump pads. And then we're gonna fall down. Well, you can see the little square coins telling us to drop down, which we'll do. 
And yep, it leads to an ambush. Couple very powerful chop chops. And this guy is not the guy to fight with them. He has no ranged attack at all. So I am going to use our favorite Shroom Boom. One of my favorites. I could use Trigger Happy too, probably. Let's see. Whoa. Let's see if I can stay away from these Chop Chops and then also rain down the Mushroom Spores on them. I love this attack because I don't have to chase after him at all. They have to chase after me. It's kind of slow, but it's working. They do take a big swipe at me. When I get far enough away, I can throw some mushrooms at them. I missed. It's best just to rain down the spores. One's already almost dead. There we go. Looks like he's wearing a spore. And there's the other one. Not too hard if you take the right Skylander. And now we can make our way up and get the hat. Shouldn't be too big a deal. Just the rotating blades. We can avoid those and get our hat. And look, we got a portal to get back. Well, that's kind of a weird hat. Future hat. Oh, that's... I'm still strange. Nope, do not want to wear that hat. Let's zoom out of here. Alright. Alright, so that's one little optional landing pad. Now we make our way back to the chopper and... Do you uh, happen to see a bathroom in there? Nope, yeah. okay, let's keep moving. Get going. Now if you don't see a, a narrow on the landing one like that one, no reason to land. Don't worry about. There's another one. We're gonna land here. Always stay to the top of the, uh, like the roof, because that's how you're going to see the landing zones, and you should be able to quickly adjust to land on them. All right, I kind of forget what's here. Oh man, we got lots of these guys though. Oh, look, you gotta buy that one. Oh my gosh. Tight quarters, tight quarters. Even maybe too much for Shroom Boom. Stay away from the fire, stay away from the blades. I still got hit a lot. Shroom Boom's half dead. Okay, here comes another one. He's fast. Shroom Boom is just a tad faster. I wonder if Shroom Boom and Broccoli Guy are friends. Seems like they'd get along. And Food Fight, too. We're gonna have an all food Skylanders team. Chef Pepper Jack, throw in the enemies turned captured and trapped team. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, so as I'm over here messing around getting some extra coins, here is our legendary treasure. Some sort of roof. Propeller masthead. Okay. Shiny stuff. My favorite. I don't know how much more Shroom Boom has to level up. He's pretty strong. He's got five levels to go, but how many more attacks? I think I got most of his attacks unlocked. All right, so that was an extra area. I think that. I don't know if we have another one coming up soon or not. Yep, there it is, right there. Flynn just loves your detours. All right, so this one's water. So we're gonna have to get rid of Shroom Boom now. And pretty much my only choice is chill. I'm gonna go with regular chill in case I need to switch 
Bagel. I'll switch to... Oh, no, that's Light Core. Okay, they're both Light Core. Well, I know the legendary one is Light Core, and uh, if I need the Light Core power, I got one ready. Oh, that's right. No fighting in this one. Just a hat. I forgot. That That's both our hats. Pretty quick. Ooh. Bottle cap hat. That's pretty cool. Alright. Well, we'll still keep chill for a little bit. Level 11. I don't know which power she has. She's got the pretty much the same power as the other one has. Alright, let's get out of here and keep going. Now, it should be a little bit shorter level than the last level, but there are a lot of places to land, so it's kind of kind of annoying. Yep, shooting that little mole looking thing will give us rockets to take down the shield. They both shoot at us. Oh, he shoots a homing rocket. Alright. Now when we land here, we get some extra coins. Don't forget to pick those up. But we have to go. Yep. But I don't see one on the platform. You'll have to look around. Yep, Flynn's doing a good job telling us what to do. No key out here, so we gotta go inside and find that same key. Skylanders of the magic element are stronger in this zone. There's the where we need to place it. And there in the background is where it is. Not a big deal. Frog Pincher. Archean Duelist. Alright, let's see if Oh yeah, the duelist gets rid of all the pinchers for us. Let's see how much I can keep this guy behind me through a wall. Yep, shoot him through the wall. That's pretty fun. I like that for chill. Oh, here comes another one. Now, ooh, here comes another two. Whoa, he's got such a long reach. Look at that. Oh, dangerous, dangerous. I hope I'm keeping them away there. Oh, stab me. Did I get both of them? I don't remember. I must have got the one down here. Or did he fall off? Hmm, no experience. I guess I got him. Got lucky there, I think, a little bit. Okay, so now move this beam around. If you do it right, it'll kill enemies if they're round. I like making an entire sweep of the area. In this case, I'm pretty sure there's no other enemies, but if there are, you can get rid of them sometimes when they're on other platforms. Move this around. Okay, this is going to go around the long way too. And. Once we match up the beam, we pull the key in. So we can go grab it. Now if you're playing co-op, and you watch the boys play, notice how you cut the beam, the platform goes back. Well, I think Connor and Lias, they like trapping each other on that platform by making the beam carry it back out. So there's some things you can do in co-op if you want to annoy your other player. Alright, a couple of these little pincher guys. I'll put the key in. Whatever you did in there worked. Nice going. Alright, so. Now what we have to do is, well, we get a little, little mini ambush here, something to try to stay away from. Now those guys will throw the bombs, remember? So we'll grab one of those and throw it at that guy. Oop, two of them. Remember, if you catch two, throw two. There. See, we got rid of him pretty easily. Now we can throw him back and get rid of those guys. Alright, but before we leave, because we can leave now, let's come back in here 
There's this little mystery arcane guy. Let's talk to him. Welcome, Skylander. I did not expect to see you in the secret tunnels leading to the secret entrance to our secret city. But since you are here, let us play. Let's play some sky stones. All right. Wonderful. Though I am not capable of sounding truly excited, I can only assure you that I am. Mm, those stones look pretty good to me. Archean bomber. All right. So this one's interesting because there's four of those stones with elementals. Now I could have loaded my guys up for that, but I didn't. So I think I'm just gonna hope. He doesn't use them, and I can outlast him. Or, in some case, maybe I can attack. But I don't have any of my elementals, so I'm just going to protect the sides I need protected. And if this doesn't work, I can change out some of my stones. Alright, that's kind of what I was hoping for. I will now take this guy in the middle. Unfortunately... Well, Choppy bot nine thousand. Unfortunately, that's that's only gonna give me four. Hopefully, he breaks his. Well, I'm gonna break one of mine. He's got three. He's already used air, so I'm gonna break mine on water and hope he doesn't have another air. And then I can still win if he breaks. He's got fire, and I win. Well, it might have been smoother to actually get good stones out, but that's okay. Stone collected. Oh, well, that's pretty. It's got three on one side. That's a pretty cool looking one. Drag, Dragonet. Air stone. Well played, Skylander. I suppose it is no secret that you are quite good at this game. Cold as ice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Now remember, this was a this is an area we had to go into. So, time to leave and continue on yes, our path. Yes, my beautiful Archean war machines. I am now one of you, and by one of you, of course, I mean a much, much better version of you. Chaos is always fun to listen to. Also, in this level, and I think another level, he's pretty funny. All right, let's get back in. Go through the door. Ah, uh, I remember, or I don't remember. I know there's more landing zones. I don't remember where they are. So we're gonna stick to the top. I'm not gonna worry about robots or anything else, really. Actually, I kind of want to go over here. Big round circle. Did I miss something over there? No. Okay, making a circle. This cavern's big enough to do that. Nope. This is a. Uh... All right. Hopefully, there... I hope I didn't miss anything there. Still have some rockets. So I'll use them right away. I think if you kill all these guys, you get another one instead of rockets, but... I'm getting 50-something every time I beat those. Giant robot, let's go above them. Alright, do we land here? No, not a land zone. How about that one? Yes, that one's a land zone. I'll land on that one. What's in store for us here? I do forget. Oh, a treasure chest. Oh, Arik's hidden vault. Some money for chill. I'll get the bonus treasure here. And let's go talk to Auric. Now I know there's something I want to get. So I am going to use Flashwing, who's got all our money, I think. Blinded by the light. 
Four thousand, that should be enough. And let's talk to him. Good to see you again, Skylander. Figured I would take refuge in here. Care to do a little shopping? All right, so he's got typical ro robot repellent charm. 8,000, that seems a little bit much. Uh, armor hat, but here we go. Another chompy bot, 9,000 stone. Better than the last one. Starting to make me wonder if I'm just going to keep buying newer and better uh, chompy bots from Arik. I don't entirely remember what everything he sells, but this one is three per side, so I'm going to buy it. It's pretty cheap at 1,350 and we'll leave that stuff for later and flashwing is almost maxed level it's pretty strong i don't know if i really should be using her all right so not not much there just that treasure let's fly to the next zone is it over there i can't remember nope no landing zone Now, whoa. Wowzers, that was close. If you hit the A button with boost, you'll go faster. And at this point in time, I don't want to go faster because I don't want to fly past something like that where I might want to land. And you do kind of go through the same, same areas more than once. So you can re-land on a platform or in case you missed it the first time. Not really sure which one that is. Got me. Thought that mole was gonna shoot me as I was landing. No surprise that I just stuck another perfect landing. Okay, you know the drill. Find a crazy key thingy, and then stick it in a weird panel thing. Same thing as before. Go grab that key piece from far away. Okay, these guys, watch this. I'm gonna use Prison Break for these guys, and there's a good reason. I showed you this last time. But when he drops a beam, they like to, like watch, he's gonna track me. I'm gonna have to run, I might get hit. Ugh, if I drop one of those, He's going to focus on, well, he should focus on this. See? He does not come to kill me. So, let the beam. He'll focus on destroying the, the crystal. I'll try to focus my beams on destroying him. And then I don't have to worry about getting tracked by his laser shot, which is very powerful. It could do a lot of damage. Oh, look at all that experience. Out of my reach. Boo. I don't know why I just can't, you know, suck it in. Uh, all right, where's the beam? Where's the beam? The beam must be up here. That's not the only battle with those guys we're gonna have. Here's some more. Oh no. Oh no. Prison Break is not. Got one of those things. Go get it. Prison Break is not very fast. Oh, I got a little bit caught there, but that's okay. Should have dropped a crystal quicker to distract him. But we got plenty of food, I guess, in this level. Let's move our beam around. Uh, I guess we gotta move that over. Oh, we're getting ambushed again. Give him something to attack. Why is that guy gold? I don't, is that his attack, I guess? We get, uh, no. Oh my. Yes, attack the crystal. Not me. No. Did I? What happened? I think I died. What was that? Oh, it's showing me. It's showing me what I needed. All right.
right, he's almost dead. I'm staying in front. No, I was not in front of the crystal. Come on. He attacked the crystal, not me. Bad, bad use of prison break there. I screwed that one up. All right, well, we don't necessarily have to use prison break. We'll just do some good ranged attack with a quick Skylander like Trigger Happy. Besides, this guy's gotta almost be dead. There we go. Alright, so now we gotta come all the way down here, turn this last beam, I think. Do we turn it? How do we? Oh, we push this block. There we go. Now it'll bring our key to us. Grab it. We gotta walk all the way back. Probably get ambushed again, right? Chaos is decrees, those should be good. I'm starting to get a crazy feeling you might actually pull this off. Ahem. From now on, all trees will be considered enemies of the state. I, Robo Chaos, will now put an end to your leafy conspiracy once and for all. Okay, Robo Chaos. Oh yeah, stand here and let the beams kill the bad guys. That's always fun. I don't know if he won't probably come that far. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. That um that gold throw that he has, it'll fly all the way across the screen if it has to. It kind of hits the bad guy no matter what. I'm hitting him right now, so he's frozen and not attacking him. That's, that'll work. Back into our gyrocopter. Okay, we gotta be getting close here. I mean, how long can these tunnels be? Let's land here. I think. I'm not sure, but I think one of these you might land on. You already have landed on, but let's go in and check. Yeah, cold storage area A. All right. Last time, I think we were in cold area storage B. I'm waiting for the enemies. I forget. I don't know where they are. Here we have our scrolls, so we'll get that. Willick and Neighbors, we'll give that a read. Years ago, a group of cave dwellers used to live among the Willikan until they mysteriously disappeared one day. It was discovered that there were a great many secret entrances to their caverns that were later covered up with large boulders, appearing as though someone was trying to keep something from entering the caves. Or exiting. Okay, and we'll get our, I think it's our last, maybe one more treasure chest. Yep, one more. Good money though for Trigger Happy. No enemies? Come on, really? Oh, a pretty simple side mission here for both a scroll and a treasure chest. There's another landing zone. Not sure what's left to collect. We got legendary treasure, cold area storage B. Ah, the soul gem, jet back.
We need a Luckatron wheel and one more treasure chest, I think. All right, let's watch his preview. wheel, a treasure chest, and a wing sapphire. I know where the wing sapphire is. That's at the very end. Do we need, do we have any more landing zones? I kind of don't think we have any more optional ones, but we'll see. Oh, come on. Alright. I have no rockets, so kill these guys and get a rocket. Got it. Oh, come on. There we go. Think it'll be perfect? If you said yes, you are correct, my friend. Boom! Another rotating puzzle? Get off me! What happened? They were all on me. Oh my gosh. While, the, while it was showing me where everything was, they just surrounded me. That was crazy. If I hadn't already died, I'd be mad. Alright, so that's going to bring the key, but... That wheel's moving. We can bring this all the way around to there and bring the Luckatron wheel to us. There we go. Power, strength, something like that. Wheel power, okay. Alright, now we gotta come back over here. I guess I could flip this one last time. Two last times. And then... Stop this wheel with this switch. Make sure you stop it when the beam is in between the cogs. And we'll go get our key. Oh, and they come back. Look at that. Okay. This should open up our gate. Some of my greatness must have rubbed off on you because you've done it again! And now we can make our way out. Oh, not quite. The crystal monster. Well, let's see. I can just run in the opposite direction here, shoot all its crystals, making it confused. And then I like to throw the heavy There we go. Heavy gold. Those things will, you can throw them pretty much all the way across the screen. So they just go straight to the enemy. It's pretty nice. All right, let's move on. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, that was smooth. Get some health, I need it. Don't need to land. I think that was one of the ones we've already landed on. These purple stars give you boosts, which I think I'm full on right now, but you'll need those at the very end of this level. More boost power. 
And I think they're represented by the blue bar underneath my green health bar. I'm not entirely sure. Yep, I just used some. Hopefully I didn't miss any landing platforms in there. It's an awful long way to fly without landing anywhere. Done. Oh, yikes. Only lost 30 health. <laughs> you can't blow up pretty easy, though. It's not like you can just hit the wall forever. Oh, look at that. One set of rockets hit both. Just work your magic with those keys, and maybe we can open the final gate. Yeah, the final gate. Well, let's check real quick our collections. Not our collections, our objectives. <sighs> Way past the enemy goal. Two more areas to find. One treasure chest, one wings out fire. All right. I don't know about the two areas. Hopefully, I find those. There's one of them. Machine. And the other one's probably wherever that treasure chest is over there. Uh, but if you noticed, there was a uh, teleporter there, and that's how we're going to get to it here in a minute. Oh, I just bombed myself. Oh, we just killed everybody. Alright, trigger happy done. Hmm, I haven't used this guy in a while. I don't think he's very powerful, but we'll see what Lightning Rod can do. Oh, that's some 17. He's electrocuting him a little bit. Of course, if you use those bombs, it won't be too hard. Can I use a Lightning Bolt? to fry him over and over again. Almost. But he's got fire and that's going to be a lot worse if I get stuck with that. Doing some post attack damage. I don't know what that does. No, get out of the way. Uh, I like the ongoing damage. That's pretty good. Not too bad. He needs he's about to level up. Now instead of putting the key in, we just they're, they're like a button now. Nice. Not sure what that is, but it seems like a good thing. Yep. And there's our teleporter up there, so we've got to make sure we head back and get that treasure chest. Bust open these things, kind of like a little wall. And our final treasure chest. Okay. Now hopefully this is our last area. Close to it. There's our wing sapphire. So, 
We get in this little black puzzle. Now we push all these blocks around. Most of them, you just have to push once. Uh, we're gonna need to go up there. But before we do that, we need to make sure we have a path. We do to the wing, or the wing sapphire. Oh, we don't. Whoops, my bad. One more block had to push. Because we're going to have to go corner to corner. It's kind of tricky. And there's a bounce pad that we might hit as well, which is okay. You can bounce pad and get off this thing, but we want to go... Oh, it's so annoying. Maybe I should use somebody with feet. All right. Let's make sure you go corner to corner like this. Take your time, line it up. Some of them are harder to line up than others. There we go. Wing Sapphire. That's our last collectible. Now we just have to make sure we got all areas found and get out of here. Now I just come back down here because, uh, well, if you really wanted to, I think you could push some blocks around to make that easier. For whatever reason, that first corner is tough. Ugh, Crystal Golem. I can stay away from the slam. I should be alright. He's pretty fast. Get rid of these crystals first. Here to hit this button again. Great. Another new hickey. Do hickey. Got the do hickey. Now we just gotta get rid of these last two. I wish I had prison break still. Laser. I wish he'd stand still. Oh no! Man, this guy's tough. Should be dead almost, right? There we go, finally. Whoa! That was close. The lightning doesn't go quite far enough. I'm just gonna have to go with someone who has just good old-fashioned ranged attacks, I think. I wish that uh, enemy would come closer to me so I could go around him in circles. He's just standing out there. It's kind of a good place for him to stand. It's hard for me to go around him. Spyro, though, can dash through him or just dash away from the beam. Either way, it kind of works for Spyro. Dragon. 
Dragon, get the horns. Okay. Any more? Looks like we got some more. Never ending battles. Do not let that guy slam on you. Oh. Who's next? Shroom Boom's probably. I've already used his light core power, I think, but we could still. Well, no. Start getting shot at. Let's just rain down on him. Look at that, Shroom Boom. Number one Skylander right now. Getting it done. There we go, final area. Unlock the gate to Arcus. Or wait, was that an area? That's it. The I don't door know. To Arcus. That boom? If I didn't get all the areas found, then something glitched. These are key and sure don't like visitors. Let's get moving, this place is coming apart. One last time in an auto chopter. Gyrocopter. So now I basically just hit the boost and collect all of the purple marks. Okay. And apparently, don't hit those falling things, which I almost never do. I'm not even sure I knew that could happen. This is the important part though, right down the middle. Oh, no problem. And I don't say that like me. Now we'll just meet up with Callie and plan our next move. But first, let's just tell her how great I was in the tunnels, okay? Alright, we got our story goals. Did not get the no lives lost goal, but we found all the collectibles. There we go. Not too hard as long as you make sure you land on all those platforms. The, uh, a couple of them are easy to miss. I'll spare you the details of how awesome and heroic I was getting us through back then. What? You've been talking about it for the last ten minutes. What's your point? The last time the Archeans were in power, Skylands was nearly destroyed. Now with chaos in control, it's only a matter of time before history repeats itself. We have to find him and stop him. All right, so there you have it. Uh, that was chapter 14, Auto Gyro Adventure. Uh, it's a pretty fun level. I kind of like the flying. Um, it wasn't too repetitive. I mean, there was a lot of landing and taking off and searching and landing. Mm, but we didn't really have to play through the level four times, so that's a good thing. Um, I don't know. Uh, we got two more levels to go. I don't. I'm not even really sure if the last level is much more than a boss fight, but... Uh, we'll be about ready to wrap this up here in the next couple episodes. Until then, thanks for watching. Come back, see our, uh, come back and watch some of our other videos. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Um, tell us what you want to see us play. If there's a game that you want to see us play, we're uh, eagerly awaiting Ring of Heroes. That should be coming out any day now. There's no release date, but um, looks like they're getting pretty close, probably. So. Alright, until next time, thanks for watching, have fun playing Skylanders, and we'll see you soon.